chair who signed discloses reason for ongoing crisis between Buhari and APC. Welcome to the news and thank you for telling me to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. A former federal lawmaker, Sheikh Hussani, has disclosed the reason behind the alleged ongoing crisis between the old Progressives Congress APC and President Muhammad Buhari. Nigerians report that some members of the ruling party have shown the displeasure over the redesigned Naira and cashless policy proposed by the Central Bank of Nigeria and approved by President Buhari. Also, in the recent interview with Channel Television Sunrise Daily Program, the governor of Kaduna State, Nasser Rafai, alleged that some individuals in the presidency were working against the candidacy of Tunubu. Speaking on the situation via a Twitter post, Sun explained that Buhari is trying to leave a legacy where money does not determine who becomes the Nigeria's next president, while the All Progressive Congress, on the other hand, are of the opinion that such a legacy would not guarantee that the party retains power in 2023. He opined the party is holding on to vote buying because they have the belief that they will not be able to secure the presidency without cash. Sheikh Hussani wrote, President Buhari wants to leave behind a legacy where money does not influence who becomes Nigeria's next president. The ruling party leaders think that his record in office cannot deliver them to victory without a massive use of money. This is the basis of their family war. Whatever, whatever is the basis of their family war, at this point in time, me, I do not care. I am just um, what is going to, what's it called? What is going to, what I care about is that these politicians, they do not have an interest at heart. They do not have an interest at heart at all. It is personal interest that is pushing, you know, our politicians. And is making them to do things that they are not supposed to do. To see things that they are not supposed to see. The situation for power through the old and corrupt way of votes buying. And it is wrong. I have spoken to us severally about what the expression of power can do. If you are desperate for power, there is no... That person that is desperate for power, the person is not... Is is not guaranteed to come in and you know he's not com the, the, the guaranteed to come in and be. In fact, there is no way the person can come in and do better. The person, first of all, is not people oriented. It's not people oriented at all, at all, at all. Hmm. The person is not people oriented. Okay, it will be a good legacy if PMB can do that for Nigerians. Money should not decide a good leader. Good leadership should be determined by character and knowledge. May God Almighty bless Nigeria and Nigerians with visionary and selfless leaders in Jesus' mighty name. Well, God Almighty has given us life, has given us the senses, has given us the good health to go and register for PVC, get a PVC. And if you have gotten your PVC, God Almighty has empowered you already. He will not come down and do for you and me what we are supposed to be doing for each other. Okay. He would have done it long ago, not now. Whether good legacy, whether good legacy or not, Nigerians are not ready now because the suffering is too much. The thing is, if you keep saying you're not ready now, you're not ready now. When are you going to be ready? That is a million dollar question. When are you going to be ready? What a hypocrite! When these people were busy carrying looted money from South to Lagos to finance Buhari in 2015, Buhari was cool with it. But when the same people wanted to do the same in 2023, the president suddenly realized that money should not determine the mess. The next president, what a contradiction. My own is I don't feel for Tunubu because there's anybody, there is nobody, there's no politician that does not know what the Northerners are capable of doing. I am telling you. So if Tunubu is saying he's surprised, then me, I go tell and say, ah, you, Jagaban, surprised that the Northerners do you like this. You're not in any way supposed to be surprised. Though. This, in fact, is expected. I did tell you, we are for this surprise now when they give, uh, what's it called, uh, Jagaban. All the whole support, and he now emerged the winner. But for the Northerners to have a ticket come out for presidency in the People Democratic Party and not support him, huh? heaven we fall. That is a big lie. When Buhari was contacted in 2019, did he did do the same thing. Even since then, he weakened his commitment for the corruption war. If truly such ideas, this is just a way of trying to preview for another full and emerge. This one too has a point. And you, Mr. Sani, you talk too much, sir. We are praying for any order in Nigeria where money will not be a major factor in the election. This is the only way to get credible leader. 
leaders. Well, Nigerians, it is not just by, you know, that it's also by, like, you understand. Buhari is a selfish man, otherwise he should have done the same in 2019 and, and see where his face would have landed him. Wicked people forget the past easily. Like I said, Tunubu should have been prepped for this. He should have been prepped for this, if you ask me. He should have been prepped for this. Trusting people, not that as to be people who say you just trust like that now. If Atiku was not on the was not on the ballot, I tell you and I kid you not, fine. But for the fact, mm -hmm. all right. Well, Nigerians, so the ball still if our court, no matter any putting anybody they talk, the ball is still in our court. Mm -hmm. We decide wherever it goes to. So if we decide Okay. Well, at the end of the day, this is what I'm going to say. Since we all know that um we all know that this is as close to the point where there is now little So the thing is this particular piece of information whether the party is holding on to vote buying whether they're not holding on to vote buying that is not nigerian's problem now one thing i've been able to pick from everything going on especially now politically is that these so-called leaders hmm, many of them do not have an interest at heart imagine Okay, now they're coming out to tell us that, oh, it is because Gwari wants to do this, he wants to do that. Had it been that there was no Atiku on ground, there is no Northerner on ground who is also contesting for presidency, maybe, just maybe, I may be able to believe the story. But the last time I checked, and Atiku is, is, is on ground, you know, and the body language of Buhari is not even supporting Tunubu, and that is, even, is not even the problem. I don't want Tunubu, you know, Tunubu is not healthy enough to be the president. The thing is, these people do not have an interest at that. So Nigerians, instead of us, hmm, because from everything that has been happening online and offline, I can still perceive that a lot of people have not come to the realization that this is about us and not them. This election is about us. The more you give these people more chance, you know, the more you give them more time, they're going to keep pressing our neck. When an ago talk, say, don't do when in go stand up, so yeah, everybody, let us keep our our madness aside. Let us keep our bad character, and let us do the right thing. I still there here the way to me. I have seen enough sugar already. So Nigerians, the ball is in our court. Vote your own consequence. None of us gets. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next.